this is the crossbody bag that I made from a tote bag that I got from Timu. If you're not familiar with Timu, it's just a shopping website where things are really inexpensive. So I decided to take the tote bag, use the material, because if you can see, the material is really cute. It was a really cute pink corduroy with some red roses on it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this little crossbody bag and give you the measurements. So for this bag, I decided to use cheetah print. I thought it would be cute. I did make this one just a little bit bigger, so I'll give you the final measurements. And I'll also give you all of the measurements to make this little bag. So let's get right into the video. I cut four pieces for the main front and back panels, five and a half by eight and a half. And then I also cut four pieces of fusible fleece. I cut two pieces for the gusset three by 14 and a half and one strip of fusible fleece. For the zipper strips, I cut four pieces one and a half by 12 inches. And I just cut two pieces of fusible fleece to go on the back sides of the cheetah fabric. I cut a 14 inch zipper and two little squares for the strap attachments three by three inches. And also you'll need two small D rings for this bag. First, I just fuse the fusible fleece to the back sides of all four pieces of the main panels. And then I took two of the pieces and put them with the back sides together and sewed all the way around them. Now that the front and back panels are complete, we can go ahead and start working on the zipper gusset. I fused the fusible fleece for the zipper strips to the back sides of the cheetah print fabric. And then fused a little bit of fusible fleece to one strip of the bottom part of the zipper gusset. The black fabric is canvas, so I think it's thick enough, so I just used one piece of fusible fleece to go on one piece of the bottom part of the zipper gusset. And then I added the zipper pull to the zipper, since I use zipper by the yard, but if you already have a zipper with the zipper pull attached, you really don't need to do this part. Then I placed the zipper right side up on top of one of the zipper strips. And then I placed the cheetah print fabric face down on top of the zipper and just sandwiched all three pieces together and used clips to hold everything in place. And then I used a zipper foot and just sewed across the strip. After that, I just folded the tabs back towards each other and then just top stitched. And then I placed the zipper on top of the other black strip and just put the cheetah print fabric strip on top of the zipper and sandwiched that in and then sewed across that strip. And then I took the little strap tabs and just folded them over and just sewed down one side. I grabbed a couple D-rings and just put the tabs through the D-rings.
I sewed across each end of the zipper just to secure it in place so the zipper pull doesn't come off. I put the tabs on the end of the zipper gusset with the raw edges to the raw edges of the zipper gusset with about a half inch sticking out on each side. And then after attaching them, I just cut off the excess that was sticking out on the ends. Here's a good point to add your bag tag. I just added it before I put it all together. And now I'm gonna take the two gusset pieces and put one on the top and one on the bottom facing each other on top of the zipper gusset. And then I'm gonna just make sure the edges meet up on the other end and just clip it in place. Then I sewed across both ends, and then after that, just flip the gusset piece with the right side out, and then just pin the gusset in place because you're gonna sew around both ends, the raw edges of the gusset, all the way around both sides. I did stitch across both ends right underneath the D-rings just to secure the ends of the gusset in place. And here I'm just making sure everything is nice and even. So I'm just cutting off a little bit of the zipper part just so that way it matches the bottom part of the gusset. And then I'm going to sew around both sides on the raw edges using maybe about a quarter of an inch seam allowance. And then I'm gonna make four small snips just to make sure everything centers up nice and neat. So we're gonna just make little snips on the ends of the gusset and then match those snips up and make two more snips on each end of the gusset just to make sure, like I said, everything matches up nice and neatly. And then I'm gonna flip the gusset with the zipper on the inside and just use one of the center marks at the top center of the gusset and make sure it matches the top center of the front panel. And just clip it in place all the way around. I'm gonna use all the center marks to just make sure everything matches up. And here I'm just making small snips around the curves so that way I can spread the fabric out and clip it easily onto the front and back panel. I cut a strip of bias tape so that way I can cover the raw edges on the inside of the bag. I just used some of the material, the cheetah print material, and I cut it about an inch and a half and just made sure it was long enough to cover the raw edges on the inside of the bag. And then I just sewed all the way around and then I just cut off the excess and just folded the bias tape over the raw edges, clipped it in place, and then just sewed that in place to secure everything. Now the raw edges of the inside of the bag is completely covered and you can attach the back panel the exact same way. Use 
all the little snips that we made in the center of the back panel and the gusset match everything up clip it in place so all the way around and then i just attach the other piece of bias tape to cover the raw edges the same way as we just did the other side Now it's almost done you guys it's time for my favorite part we're gonna just turn it inside out and see what it's looking like You can add an inside pocket if you like. This is really cute. You can add pockets on the outside also. I love it. It's just a really small, cute little crossbody that you can throw your phone and your wallet into when you're out running errands. I think it turned out super cute. I did have a black faux leather strap with some gold hardware on it that I thought was really cute. I do have a big phone. Now I have a 15 Pro Max. So I decided to make the cheetah print one just a little bit bigger so my phone fits perfectly in the bag. But I think they're both very cute and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to give you the final measurements in the description below. So thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to create something awesome with you in the next video.